Again, gender queer chat. This is Cole on Wednesdays, and this week's topic uh, is about other people's perceptions of your gender, gender identity. Um, the topic reads: Do other people's perceptions of your gender identity bother you? Does it motivate you to express yourself in ways you might not otherwise think of expressing yourself? Well, um, most of the time, um, other people's perceptions of um, my gender identity. It does bother me. Um, I would like to be seen at first glance or pretty early on um, as the gender or non-gender that I feel personally. Um, I was watching Ricky's video a little bit earlier and they were talking about how um, they wish that they could change their face to be more androgynous or masculine and, and I really um, connected with that. Um, I have feminine features and so a lot of times people don't automatically assume that I'm non-binary or um, uh, genderqueer. Um, I, it's really important for me to be seen in a non-binary way, um, personally. Uh, I just want to make a public statement of what's inside. That's always been important to me to express myself um, in presentation. Some genderqueer people don't really need to be androgynous or express themselves, um, their internal selves externally, publicly, etc., to feel comfortable with themselves or larger society, and that doesn't make them less genderqueer than me or anything like that. Um, this is just something that's important to me. Um, it makes me feel better and more comfortable, um, etc., to make this external representation by presenting in an androgynous way. Um, and I, I guess that that would be a way that um, my gender identity or perceptions, other people's perceptions of my gender identity um, motivates me to express myself um, in presentation so that perhaps I can be seen as non-binary um, a little bit faster. And that is important to me. Um, I think that I also am motivated to pay more attention to my language. Um, than I would if I were not thinking about um, how others perceived my personal gender identity. Um, I work really hard, although you know, I'm not perfect, no one is, especially when you're not socialized to think about these things, but I work really hard to use the correct pronouns when talking about um, other gender group people and trans people. Um, I pay really close attention also to just my overall language in general when I'm um, generally speaking about life um, so that I leave those gender cliches and all the gendered language sort of out of my out of my vocabulary. Um, I want to be uh, an example um, to other people of the type of language that I feel I want around me and the type of world that I feel comfortable living in that doesn't have as heavy um, of an emphasis on the gender binary. Um, another way that I am motivated to express myself um, is uh, using gender neutral bathrooms at school. Um, although I am fine really with using any bathroom, uh, of course, for me personally, I feel the most comfortable in a gender neutral bathroom. Um, but again, I'm okay with going in any bathroom. So why do I choose the gender neutral bathroom all the time as much as I can? Because I just, I, I feel that a lot of people don't have a reference for why things like gender neutral bathrooms are important. Um, and I worked really hard um, a couple of semesters ago getting our school to even put in any gender neutral signs on the bathroom. So all they had to do was switch out a sign that took like two years to get it approved. Just switching out a sign. That's it. Um, for not even all the bathrooms, of course, just, you know, a few. 
Um, so I worked really hard getting that passed, and it did pass, and that's great. Um, unfortunately, in my building, um, the music building there that I'm mostly in, we don't have any gender neutral bathrooms. Um, but the reason why I go into them as much as possible at school, as opposed to the other ones, is is really for other people's benefit. To see someone going in there that's non-binary and saying, oh, maybe that's why. Why did they switch these signs, you know? You know, because they probably wouldn't even notice or, or have any idea of, you know, a lot of people, definitely not everyone, but um, a lot of people just don't have a lot of reference for that if they're cisgendered. Um, so, again, I just think that gender for bathrooms are the most fitting for me, and I hope that seeing me use the gender neutral restroom is sort of a subtle hint of why that's important to some people. I'm working really hard at not caring what other people's perceptions of me are. Um, but to be honest, to be confident in myself and my gender identity, I have a need to publicly express the things that are inside. And when people do not acknowledge those things, when they can't see me for who I am, it really hurts me deeply because it's so personal to me and it's so important to me. So when other people have never even thought about something that's, that I think about every day, um, it's difficult for me to feel connected. And I long for that. I long for connection and for camaraderie and for understanding. And I think as human beings, most of us want that. I don't really feel the need to be accepted by everyone. I don't feel the need to change myself to fit in. But what I do want is to be perceived as I would like to be and to be respected for who I really am and not some not what someone thinks I should be and you know sometimes it's really isolating um, to be genderqueer because just the level of education the general public isn't isn't great um, on on this specific um, type of identification. Um, but I know that I've met some of the most amazing people that accept me fully for who I am, that I love, and that, you know, make me feel just like who I am. Just like, it's almost as if they see through my skin and my body and see into my heart. And I think that's the most important thing to keep in mind when thinking about people's perceptions is that the people that really matter are definitely going to um, be there for you in the end and they're definitely going to see past anything that you were born with into your heart and to who you are. All right, Gender Queer Chat. I'll see you guys next week.